In the colorful world of people, there is an interesting thing that you may have never thought about. Why? Are most people right-handed? It is one of those questions that is full of curiosity and wonder. But two, understand this. We need to look deeply into human nature and how our bodies work. Once upon a time, there was a Neanderthal man who was skinning an animal. He used his teeth to bite the skin. One hand pulled the piece out. The other hand scraped it with a vegetable sharp piece of stone. Every now and then he would slip his hand on a stone, grind it against his front teeth, and scratch. These scratches were deep enough for scientists to recognize after being buried for more than 130,000. Years in what is now Croatia, the country with the men's soccer team ranked 10th in the world. Why care about a prehistoric man who lived 130,000 years ago and had bad teeth? The answer is because those scratch teeth reveal the reason why 90% of the world's population today is right-handed Neanderthals. Full name Homo neanderthalensis are close ancient relatives of Homo humans. Sapiens, we both share a common ancestor who lived somewhere around half a million years ago, but not as lucky as us, our. Neanderthal cousins disappeared around 40,000 years ago. That doesn't stop us from learning and discovering more and more truths about our deceased relatives. One of them is that they seem to be primarily right-handed like us. But then again, why should you care about handedness? There are two hands. But not one dominant hand and one non-dominant hand, right? Oh, that's a serious question, isn't it? No, it just hurts. Today, with the exception of humans, no mammal is one-handed dominant, meaning they prefer to use one hand over the other, including the distantly related chimpanzees, are five million years, not only that, among humanity, there has never been a nation in history recorded as being left-handed. So when did people start being right-handed and why? According to estimates, 90% of the world's population is right-handed, 10% is left-handed, about 1% are ambidextrous, meaning they can do everything equally well with both hands. Some are also ambidextrous, but are left-handed in some tasks and right-handed in. Others, like all vertebrates, each hand is controlled because the left half of the brain controls the right half of the body and vice versa. The problem is that the human brain is not a product of Photoshop. It is not perfectly symmetrical, meaning one half does not overlap the other, a characteristic known as branching thanks to their branched brains. Animals can simultaneously perform different functions. Controlled in the left and right parts of the brain, such as grazing while keeping an eye out for. Predators, the problem is that compared to other animals, asymmetry and branching are especially pronounced in the human brain, and this appears to be one of the important reasons for our species. Handedness, hand to hand, especially in most people, the left brain controls speaking. It turns out that the brain itself reasons that it will work best when the tasks are important and complex, specifically divided into each half of the brain. Because speaking is a super complex task that involves precise and delicate control of more than 100 different muscles, including laryngeal muscles, facial muscles, and respiratory muscles to avoid sticking your nose into other people's business. You must curl your tongue seven times before speaking so as not to anger the attacker, especially when talking about money. So the brain reasoned that the area of the brain that controls speech would also be well suited to controlling the super complex movements on one side of the dominant hand and because the area of the brain that controls speech is on the left side. Therefore, people's dominant hand is usually on the right side. Do you find it convincing? If you like it, please give us a like. The lateralization of the human brain is not only a biologically important phenomenon, but also a surprising phenomenon in the field of psychiatry and knowledge. The remarkable development of the human brain has played a decisive role in the advancement of human civilization from the invention of advanced technology to the development of diverse cultures and arts. However, this also raises questions about 
Brain asymmetry and lateralization and, and their importance for understanding and unleashing the potential of the human brain. In fact, the lateralization of the human brain is not only a physical phenomenon, but also a reaction of the brain to the environment and environmental factors. Studies show that brain lateralization can change over time and depending on factors such as gender, age, and individual development. This means that the brain has the ability to adapt to environmental factors and respond in the most optimal way to ensure the survival and success of the individual. One of the most striking examples of brain lateralization is the development of language. Language is not only a means of communication, but also a means of thinking and conveying knowledge. During the process of language development, the brain areas that control language are activated and developed synchronously with the development of the individual's communication and thinking skills. This shows the important role of brain orientation in language formation and development. In addition, the branching ability of the brain also plays an important role in determining the skills and talents of each individual. Studies show that certain brain regions are strongly activated in people with special skills, such as music, art, or sports. This shows that brain branching is not only a biological phenomenon, but also a decisive factor in the formation and development of each individual's skills and talents. However, although brain branching offers many benefits, there are also potential consequences. One of the most typical consequences is an imbalance between brain regions, leading to mental disorders and mental instability. For example, some studies have shown that an imbalance between the areas of the brain that control emotions and the areas of the brain that control reason can lead to mental disorders such as depression and anxiety. This shows that brain biases also need to be carefully controlled and considered to ensure balance and mental stability. One thing is certain, humans were right-handed long before today's F.A. youth made friends with it every night. You are viewing an ancient work of art called Banta Cave. Oh yes, the Cave of Hands is located in a cave in the province of Santa Cruz, Argentina. It was drawn by many people over many periods, from 7300 BC to 700 AD to create them. Early painters may have placed one hand on the wall and blown paint onto it to create the outline of the hand, and if you can count comfortably, the majority of hands on the wall are left hands, suggesting that they are right handedness or simply because they like to draw with their left hand, the type that likes to bury their descendants a bit, what to do. And this is not a coincidence. Archaeologists have found countless murals dating back about 10,000 years old, vividly depicting prehistoric life with wild animals, wild hunting in which we hold weapons with the right hand. Not only does it leave its mark in degrees, but you can also see the impact of handedness on your skeleton. X-ray results showed that this tennis player's dominant arm was definitely not doctor. Juando's being 20% thicker and containing more bone minerals than the other arm. This feature is also found in Neanderthal remains, although it is not so obvious because apparently in the time of the CIAS National, Neanderthal uncle, who lived 130,000 years ago, there was no tennis. It's tennis, a lot of people think I'm dark. It is difficult to determine exactly when we or our ancestors became right-handed because evidence of this in fossils can gradually be destroyed over time, but we can at least guess at some of the behaviors that might be associated with right-handedness based on the direction of microscopic scratches on the Neanderthal uncle's teeth. Scientists speculate that members of the hominids may have used their jaws as a third arm for a long time. Imagine a Neanderthal biting into a piece of animal skin, stretching it, taut with his left hand, and scraping it clean with a sharp stone in his right hand. When using your right hand, you will shave from left to right. Occasionally, he used his teeth to scratch the stone. 
creating scratches from the upper left corner to the lower right corner of the door frame. We know this because if you shave with your left hand, the scratch will have to run from right to left in the direction of the shave. Scratches similar to these, but dated to about 500,000 years old, have been found on the teeth of Homo heidelbergensis, our intermediate ancestor to the Neanderthals we talked about above. Even the teeth of Homo habilis, who lived 1.8 million years ago in Tanzania, had similar scratches. Of course, a few scratch teeth cannot prove that all Homo habilis were right-handed, but it does show that right-handedness is a long-standing genetic trait. That's why scientists have tried to find right-handedness. They discovered that handedness is actually genetic and that more men are left-handed than women. Unfortunately, they couldn't find a single gene that determines handedness. Instead, there are at least 40 moving loci or 40 genomic locations involved. Waiting for the scientists' satisfaction, they returned to brain branching by scanning the brain and discovered that a region in the left brain called B40 for plays an important role in manipulating objects, including both the making and use of tools. That means humans' preference for using their right hand may have come from our ancestors inventing tools millions of years ago. Some animals that also walk on two legs, such as kangaroos, are mainly left-handed and they do not know how to use tools, so that means bipeds have one dominant hand and tool-using species are primarily right-handed. Surely not such a dark idea, right? What do you think about this statement? Please share in the comments section. The development and evolution of right-handedness plays an important role in the formation and development of humans from prehistoric times to modern times. This characteristic is not only a biological characteristic of humans, but also a determining factor in the development of human civilization and technology. From using tools to developing artistic and craft skills, right-handedness has played a vital role in enhancing human creativity and productivity. One of the most prominent examples of the evolution of right-handedness is the use of tools and the development of technology, from using simple tools like sticks and stones to developing complex tools, like saws, chisels, and knives. Right-handedness has helped humans exploit natural resources and create tools, advanced tools, and technology. Through the use of tools, humans were able to perform complex and productive tasks, from hunting and gathering food to building structures and products export. In addition, right-handedness also plays an important role in the development of human manual and artistic skills. From drawing and sculpting to weaving and decorating, right-handedness has helped people express and communicate their ideas and emotions through works of art. Artists and craftsmen have used right-handedness to create amazing works of art, from paintings and sculptures to meticulous and beautiful handcrafted products. Besides, right-handedness also plays an important role in developing human learning and intellectual abilities. Using the right hand accurately and flexibly has helped people perform activities such as writing, drawing, calculating, and operating machinery effectively. The development of language and Writing was also influenced by right-handedness, as humans used their right hand to write and developed complex writing systems such as letters and numbers. However, not everyone is right-handed. There are even some people who are left-handed. The presence of left-handed people has created diversity and richness in human art and culture. Many famous artists and Designers are left-handed and they have contributed to creating unique and innovative works of art and design. After discussing brain symmetry and the benefits of right-handedness in information processing and physical activities like punching, we can move on to exploring the more complex levels of this issue. One of the interesting things is that the exact cause of the development of right-handedness is still unknown, although there are many theories there is still no complete explanation. Some researchers suggest that the development of right-handedness may be related to brain lateralization by studying different parts of the brain and how they respond to right or left-handed activities. They hope to 
better understand this process. But here, an interesting question arises, which is if right-handedness is a predictable state, then why? Are about 10% of the population still left-handed? When everything comes together, it seems that after the appearance of stone tools, humans began to be right-handed. Thus, left-handedness may be a mutation that appeared later. And since this mutation exists today, it must have conferred some evolutionary advantage indeed. The familiar image is that left-handed people often have less cerebral deviation than right-handed people have a more balanced brain providing the ability to process information more, equally including memory and speaking skills better. Research also shows that left-handed people are better at punching each other. This is because most people are right-handed, making right-handed punchers accustomed to punching with their right hand. Meanwhile, left-handed people will have the element of surprise in their hands. A 2019 study also directly showed that left-handed boxes actually won more. Even hundreds of thousands of years ago, a time when problems were mainly solved with kicks and punches. Hold, this is clearly a survival advantage. And this also explains why there are very few left-handed people. Because if there are too many left-handed people, this advantage will disappear. Are you also right-handed or left-handed? Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Follow our evolution content. Please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell for me. Don't miss the next videos. Goodbye and see you again.